This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That cross your eyes. Yeah. You're Haitian? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's Tracy. Right here. Yeah. Like I fit. yeah. Oh, maybe I'm messy. Maybe I see it. <laughs> Ask her something else. She's Wait, you there. ain't gonna know the answer. <laughs> but you know what? This is actually an awesome day to connect with Haitians because this is the five year anniversary of, you know, the earthquake that was so massive over there. And it wow. really just shows our resilience <laughs> as a nation when so many people doubt us, so many people rewrite our history. So mm. it's good to see a Haitian man up here doing his thing. Without a doubt, I'm happy to be here. Uh -huh. 1804, Toussaint L'Ouverture. 1804, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, That's the year of independence? Yes, yep. Indeed. Okay, I knew that. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> 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 Jamie, man, it's great to have you here, man. Great to be here, Sway. Uh, and I, I admire what you do, man, especially what you've been doing with the kids from Moving Mountain, Inc., you mm -hmm. know, and... Um, which is an organization that you created. What's the what? What made you start that? Well, you know what? I was a part of a theater company when I was in high school, mm -hmm. and it changed my life. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and I had a place to go and and create and build mm -hmm. and act and dance, do whatever I wanted to do, and um, that right there was a springboard that transitioned me into film, theater, and television. Mm -hmm. From that, from that, okay, you know, because then I knew I could do anything I wanted to do. So I decided to start that same organization, but you know the process, 501c3, paperwork, mm -hmm. et cetera, mm -hmm. but started it and, you know, budding talent, amazing talent. As you guys are going to see later on, they just they just came and it's just amazing. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, um, how long have you been doing it now? 2007. 2007, so yeah. that's eight years. Yeah, it is. Eight years. What kind of things have you been able to do in the community with it? Oh, man, cinematography. We just shot a short last year and it's mm -hmm. basically making, it's, it's called Taking Chance, making its way throughout the entire film festival circuit uh -huh. um we're also performing at different venues amazing venues like um dr king martin luther king day yeah the day of service on the 19th we're going to be at the cumble theater okay we're also constantly involved in a neighborhood in the community just of service you know whether it is through performance because you know for me in all reality in all honesty the arts is where so many people get an opportunity to uh -huh. see what they never thought they would see so if you go and see selma and you just didn't know about Dr. King and his humanity, Yeah. then you learn a lot through him, and then that's a springboard to have you go dig a little deeper. Mm -hmm. If you come and see this play, you see Dr. King's life from the civil rights movement and what he's experienced up until the present mm -hmm. and what he would have wanted to see. Up until the present, up so that's present. interesting. Yeah. So you, you kind of, well, is, uh, is it speculation, or are you basing on the, the post-mortem Dr. King? The, is it based well, on... Him at the mountaintop, okay. which is played by Daniel Reagan. He plays Dr. King. And Nathania, she's the angel. Mm -hmm. And that was a production that was done by with Angela Bassett at one point. And then they, she lets him know that he's going to die. Yeah. And he says, before I die, I want to see. I want to see what's going to happen in mm -hmm. the future. Is it going to be what I dreamt? Or is it going to be less than? And there's a projection. And now all the performances that come after that are performances and the life fence is a perfect example mm -hmm. is a is a snippet of a play that we're going to do up there fences and dr ken fought for the rights of sanitation yeah right before he was going to go make a speech he passed away so fences is a piece that's going to be up there and then from there to 2014 to 2015 you'll see he'll see wow. what he would have accomplished wow jamie hector is here uh moving mountain inc uh i want to get these young people to come and just kind of demonstrate live on air you know, we broadcast worldwide. No doubt. You know, it's transcontinental right here. This is mm -hmm. not one, you know, it's not, Dayan, it's not just New York City, man. It's mm -hmm. South America, Canada, so on and so forth. Africa. You ready for that? Yeah. All right, we're going to come back and get some live theater on Sway in the Morning, Shave for Five. You wish to speak with Jamie Hector. You also find on Power, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. On Power, man. There's yeah. a lot going on right now. Yeah. A whole lot. Power, Um, great show, right? Yeah. yeah. Working on that, working on the strain, working on persons of interest. interest. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're you playing, know, playing, just playing with it. You know, I was, um, I did an episode, what? I can't tell them this? No, I'm, I'm listening. You I, know, you, I just, you just captivated I me. Did, I did, <laughs> <laughs> and I did um, uh, Empire, you know, I did an episode. Oh, right on. Empire. Yeah, yeah, there it goes, Empire. Yeah, I, man. It caught me on go. As yeah. soon as I turned it on, I was like, I'm stuck right Jamie, now. Jamie, yeah. would you like to ask him who, what was his character? What was his character on Empire, Sway? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I play Sway, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't get that wrong. It was difficult. There it goes. Uh, <laughs> I, I, was, I did top five with Chris Rock. Right on. <laughs> top five. I'm hearing good things about it. What was your character, Sway? I play Sway. Right on. <laughs> you can't get that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> did you Straight. see the movie? Uh, <laughs> 
so, stomp the yard. You got stomp the yard? Yeah. What character you played on that sway? Sway. Right on. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> What was the other one? Up? Battle of the Year. Battle of the Year with Chris Brown. Yeah. You see that mm. one? Okay, that one was different. That was different. Yeah. yeah. Now, what character you played on that? I play Sway. Right on. Mm. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Jamie Hector is here. There you want to talk to him. 888-742-3345. Sway in the morning. Jamie Hector is here. Uh, man, it's a very talented individual, but what makes him even more special is the fact that he gives back. Um, to the community in many mm-hmm. ways. You know, it's interesting what you were saying about, you know, growing up and being able to be a part of an organization um, uh, and that taught you how to act and kind of uh, was advocates of the arts. And, mm-hmm. I, and I remember growing up playing instruments, playing um, um, the saxophone, the clarinet, right and on. being involved in those type of programs and how it just kind of uh, helped us exercise our expression and learn to read and write music. And it kept us busy, kept us kind of off the streets because you oh, were yeah. dedicated to uh, your craft had you not done that, had you not went through that process, um, I mean, it's hard to speculate what would have became of you, but do you think it would have been just harder to get to where you are now? Oh, yeah, I think it would have been very difficult because it, it was when I was on stage with, in a production with Tomorrow's Future and I was playing a Dr. Kasim. Mm. And the, the little bit of research that I did on that, it was evident to me that I could do that for real. Yeah. It would be difficult, but if I went through the process of studying it, mm-hmm. I could actually become a doctor, and I can play a doctor, mm-hmm. and I can play an attorney, and I can play an operational psychologist. All I got to do is know the work, yeah, and nothing would hinder that process. So, if I would have went the other way, then I probably would have been, you know, you never know what I would have been doing. Yeah, you know, it wouldn't have been as focused as this. Jamie, with all of these civil injustices that we're seeing, especially with social media playing such a big factor in publicizing it, which is important. How much of a role should celebrities have of speaking out and using their platforms to just bring more awareness? Like, should they be more socially responsible or is it just like let them be celebrities? That's not really what technically what they signed up for. What do you think? You know, I think they should be more socially responsible in the work that they do and a choice if they want to do it based on social media or whatever have you. But through the work, you have an opportunity through projects like Selma or Fruitvale Station or these things, thats they change the world. Mm-hmm. Art changes the world. Playing an instrument changes the world. For instance, I play the saxophone also. Oh, okay. And then, you know, you'll have Dizzy Gillespie, you'll have somebody that can actually affect change in what they do if they do it right and if they're serious in their craft. Wired up. Did you, I played the alto. Which one did you oh, play? Tenor saxophone, oh, baby. Tenor, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got the alto at home. Though. Okay, but you want to battle up there, let me know. <laughs> Let's Jamie, do it, baby. Know, whatever, man. All right, yeah. All right, we'll win stand up. All right, uh, we're going to the, <laughs> yeah. go to the phone line you know right what? now. Wood win <laughs> We got Gun- <laughs> Wood win, yeah. <laughs> Gunny is on the line from Arizona. Good morning. How you doing? Hey, I'll stand this way. As First a, of all, yes. got to give a big shout out to my man Jamie Hector and to you, Tether B and Tracy T. Um, hey, man, I'm an Oakland Raider fan. Do or die. I, I bleed. Uh, first of all, uh, silver and black still. So, even so do I. Be. So do I. Thank you, thank you. And uh, for Jamie Hector, man, you have been my favorite actor on that series. I, I got the I got the uh the disc set for the Wire, and uh. I do uh, undercover work out here in Arizona, man. Mm. Um, and uh, what I do is my mindset, man. Whenever I go in, I'm, I'm to a buy or something, man. I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be, uh, you know, the man with the golf club right there, man. Mm. I, em- I try to emulate wow. that dude. You know, that, that's how, that's, that's how I get ready to go to work. But wow. I also wanted to know, Jamie, um, confirming, man, was that you in? Uh, paid in full with Wood Harris, Cameron, and Omar Epps. Yes, it was. <laughs> I thought so. I thought I just wanted to confirm that, man. Uh, wow. but, but I just want to say, uh, yo, uh, big shout out to you. Uh, Sway in the morning, and um, yeah, man. Uh, thank y'all. Thank, thank y'all. you, man. Thank you, brother. You know how they says art imitate life or life imitating art. I'm trying mm. to tell you. That's and, crazy. And right? he's on the other side, right? He's on the other side. Yeah, on wow. the other side doing the work. He's inspired by your characters. Ain't that uh, something? That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I want to bring this these young um this this young talent that you brought with you right. uh, from Moving Mountains, the, the Moving Mountains team. And why don't you guys walk around here real quick, man, Dayan and Natanya. And uh, let me move these chairs out the way, man, because I'm a big fan of theater. Mm. You know, I, I respect those who uh, in, in, indulge and invest their time and energy in learning that craft here. 
Um, you guys come up on the mic and introduce yourselves. Go ahead. Who we have here? All right, my name is Kenyo Bally. How old are you, man? I'm 19. Dude, I've been trying to grow this beard for I can't, for decades, man. How you just going? It's nice and thin. It's nice yeah, and thin. I'm just saying, man. What I gotta do, man? Where you from? I'm originally from the island of St. Martin, but I live in Uniondale, New York. Uniondale, New York. And then, uh, and, and so what are you doing with your life right now? Well, right now I'm just, you know, putting in work and trying to get my solo career going. Singing mm -hmm. career. Singing career? Yeah. Okay. And then how did you get together with uh, Moving Mountains? Well, um, I heard it from a friend in mm -hmm. high school and then I just started, decided to join and I was kind of busy with high school but when I graduated I was like yo I gotta get something going yeah so I said you know what Uga Mountains is, is going on it's right down the, the block so let me go see what's up and they took me in with open arms and you know they're pushing me and helped mm -hmm. develop me and everything and it's just been going great how do you feel like it's uh personally helped you like and give me an example of how you've learned or grown as well, you say. well, definitely all my life, I always try to push myself and try to, you know, learn as much as I can. Uh -huh. But with them, they they helped me do that in the right way because I probably was kind of confused in how to do certain things. Uh -huh. But they knew exactly how to help me with what I wanted to do. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Give that man a round of applause, man. It's the future <laughs> right here, Heather. I love it. All right, Nathania, come up on that mic. All right, now where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, New York. BK, watch your purse. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that was impulse. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. You know, I didn't want to imply anything. Uh, and how old are you? I'm 17 years old. 17, so uh, senior year? Junior. Junior? Yes. Okay, you're a junior. Uh, and then what are your aspirations beyond high school? What would you like to do? Um, I like to act. I'm yeah. an actress. Um, I also dance, so dancing and acting. Okay. And, yeah. Can you teach uh, Heather how to do the nay nay? Yes. Okay, again. great. Okay, okay. Just, okay. <laughs> I just was curious. Don't, don't listen. Don't, don't listen. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then, and then, how has uh, Moving Mountains helped you? Well, um, I started Moving Mountains when I was 11 years old. Okay. And that's six years ago. It was a really long time. Mm -hmm. And I got into LaGuardia High School with the help of Jamie and Allie. And basically, they strengthened my talent of acting. And it's been a wonderful experience with Moving Mountains ever since. LaGuardia High School. Isn't that where School uh, of Performing Arts. Yeah, Nick, Nicki Minaj went there, right? Yeah. Uh, Azalea Banks went there, too, yeah. right? A list of, host of people yeah. have gone there, yeah. right? Name a few. Nicki Minaj and uh -huh. Azalea okay. Banks. That's it? Okay. <laughs> I thought I, I named Omar them. Omar Epps right. went there as well. Omar Epps went yeah. there? Okay. All right. Yeah. Great. Okay. Dayon, what up, man? What's going on? What's man? up, man? What's up? What's man, up? You seem like the type of dude I'll just hang out with. Yeah, I'm a you chill know? dude, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> chill, man. I'm like that. Where you from? You from Oakland? I'm from Brooklyn. No, oh, okay. Brooklyn, right. New York. Uh, yeah. Brooklyn? Okay. Brooklyn, yeah. yeah. Brooklyn like the East Coast Oakland, man. Yeah. Really. All right, right, isn't it? Okay. Right? Um, okay. Uh, and how old are you, man? I'm 19. Okay, you already got a mustache and stuff. No, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I didn't get mine until I turned 30. Oh, man. really? Yeah, yeah, it's coming in. <laughs> Took a long time, man. Took a long time. I'm good now, though. <laughs> um, and, you know, growing up in Brooklyn is, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a challenging environment. It's a lot of beautiful things about Brooklyn, yeah. right? And But it's a lot of adversity you have to face as well. How has this program helped you deal with that? Exactly that. It, it kept me off the streets and it gave me something to do mm -hmm. when there's nothing to do. Yeah. So now I'm focusing on the arts and that's what I do on the regular. That's what you do on the regular. That's it. Okay, Jamie, what are they going to do for us right now, man? It's going to be live on the air. Let's turn the music down. Man. Well, we can, we can set it off with Kenyo just to let you guys know how hard a bar is going to be set. Okay. And um, he's a vocalist. Uh-huh. And he's going to sing a song by John Legend. Let's say for the record, too, they're going to be performing soon, too, right? Definitely. They're going to be performing at the Cumble Theater, mm -hmm. um, the day of service, Dr. King Day. Um, that's on the 19th and on Monday. Okay. And um, at yeah, again, at the Cumble Theater. And is it a, a website or where people can find information yes. if they want tickets? Yes, movingmountainsnyc.org. That's movingmountainsnyc.org. Okay. Yeah. Movingmountainsnyc.org. You guys support that if you tuned in right now, especially if you're in a uh, tri-state area. But even if you're not, go check it out. All right? Okay, who's first? Kenyo. Are you mind if I look at you? 
Well, I seen. Oh, 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 I, I, how old are you? Okay, yeah, you good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Look, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Okay. It's okay. I yeah. want to get you in trouble. Don't get thrown <laughs> off by Heather B. You know. Yeah, I'm not close enough. This shirt is see through. Yeah, close I got me. Let me. Let me. Okay. Sorry. You ready? You ready? I'm ready. All right. Pull up. Girl, I'm in love with you. This ain't the honeymoon. We passed the infatuation phase. Right in the thick of love. At times we get sick of love. It seems like we argue every day. I know I misbehaved and you made your mistakes. And we both still got room left to grow. Though love sometimes hurt, I still put you first. And we'll make this thing work, but I think we should take it slow. We're just ordinary people. <clears throat> we don't know which way to go. Cause we're ordinary people. Baby, we should take it slow, take it slow, oh, this time we'll take it slow, take it slow, oh, this time we'll take it slow, yeah. Ooh, come get some of this grown woman. <laughs> Heather, watch your hands. All right, sorry. All right, sorry. <laughs> right, that boy sound good, man. Yes, that boy sounds good. Congratulations. Yeah, man. Okay, that's what's up. Who's yes, next? You're going to Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, they're going to go good, further man. than that. I that's like the pick that. of the litter right here. Yeah, yeah, in other words, Woo. you know, we, 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 the way we try to design it also is for casting directors and, and all to know that this is where they can come and cast for their next film. Oh. So we have several organizations and films that came and casted out of here independent films for the most part but also the short films so um Nathania Alexander she's up next and she's an extraordinary actress and she's going to do a monologue and the piece is called it's from Rachel's getting married from Rachel's getting married and um and she's 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 in the mix wait hold on let's put her some headphones on so she can hear herself all right there she go When I was 16, I was babysitting my little brother. And I had taken all these Percocets. And I was unbelievably high. So we had driven over to the park on Lake Shore. And he was in his little red socks, running through the leaves. And he would bury me in the leaves, and I would bury him. And he was pretending to be some kind of train. And I was the caboose. So he kept saying, coal, caboose, coal, caboose. And so it was time to go home. I was driving. I lost control of the car. And the car drove over the bridge into the lake. That couldn't get him out of the car seat. So he drowned. And I struggled with God so much because I can't forgive myself. And I don't think I want to right now. But I do want to be sober. If I hurt somebody, I hurt somebody. They can forgive me or not. But I can change. I can. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. And congratulations that you have a God that makes you look up. But if you don't, come here. Thank you. Jeez, what you wow. mean? Man, my gosh, she's in tears over there. Come give me a hug. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> you should have saved her for last, bro. I don't want to continue to no, show No, the, the thing man. about it is they're all amazing, just the same. You know, that's Nathaniel Alexander and just absolutely brilliant. And it's the pick, and this is the cloth that they're all cut from. You know, I mean, they just. They, they know how to bring it. Let's not just disregard the fact that she was cracking jokes about Nicki Minaj <laughs> a second ago, and now you look like you totally stressed out. <laughs> what is that? What kind of is that a method of acting, or how do That's people a, make that happen? Like, well, you know, she found what she wanted when she came to Moving Mountains. When she entered, she came in as a basketball player uh -huh. at eleven, and then she delved into acting. And then we just we were working with her in that area, right? Yeah, cultivating that how to work on a character, how to develop a character, how to tap into it through exercise, through work and everything. And then she went to LaGuardia and continued to sharpen that. So, you know, that's just a gift that she got. And she Yo, could turn it up on anything. Check it out. When you get that Golden Globe and that Oscar one day, <laughs> don't forget where it all started, right here on Sway in the Morning. Sway in the Morning, baby. I want a shout. We're, down, we're about six down the line, but I want a shout out. <laughs> got you. All right. Yeah, and that's coming Great soon, y'all. Yeah. Great job. Thank you. Great job. It's Excellent. And, Excellent. Um, Thank you. We also have Dayon Reagan. And Dayon, well, you'll let him answer it, but he's been a part of Moving Mountain since day one, and he's just been, you know, tearing it up through the through the work, through Law & Order and several other films also. You done Law & Order? Did I ever so, yeah. Yo, he's stunning. Oh, he's so, so. He's what was your character? Up. Huh? What was your character's name? <laughs> it was um Mike. Excellent. It's different from your name. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just trying to. Say. And what else you've done? Law and Order. And what else? Yeah. Oh, wait, um, what's the name of the film that you were supposed to work on? That taking chance. Taking chance. The one that you worked chance. on. What? what who, was who, short. who was in there? Um, no, it was a short film short. that we produced. Uh, mm -hmm. It was another film. Of, um, I can't remember. Yeah, so it. many. Yeah, no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what role? What kind of character did you play on Law and Order? Um. <laughs> I was get I was in a park getting patted down by Ice T. Wow. Yeah. Dang. Did you get a chance to talk to Ice T and kind yeah, of Yeah, he's a cool you? guy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Uh, so what is he gonna do for us? Well, Dayon is gonna also do a monologue from Goodwill Hunting, uh, the film with Matt Damon. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Robin Williams was in that. Robin too. Williams. Yeah, rest yeah, in peace, yeah. Robin. Extraordinary yeah. talent. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Ben Affleck. Why shouldn't I work for the NSA? That's a tough one, but I'll take a shot. Let's say I'm working for the NSA and somebody puts a code on my desk, something nobody else can break. Maybe I'll take a shot at it, maybe I'll break it. And I'm real happy with myself because I did my job well. But maybe that code is the location of some rebel army in North Africa or the Middle East. Once they have that location, they bomb the villages where the rebels were hiding, and 1,500 people that I never met or never had any problem with gets killed. Now the politicians are saying, send in the Marines to secure the area. Because they don't care. It's not like it'd be their kid over there getting shot, just like it wasn't them when their number were called because they were pulling in some tour in the National Guard. <sighs> Meanwhile, my friend... It'll be some kid from, from Saudi taking shrapnel in our ass. And he comes home to find out that the plant he just worked at got exported to the country he just got back from. And the guy who put the shrapnel in his ass got his old job because he'll work for 15 cents a day and no bathroom breaks. Meanwhile, he realizes the only reason he was over there in the first place was to install a government that sell us all you at a good price. Cute little ancillary benefit for them. But that ain't helping my buddy at two fifty a gallon. They're taking their sweet time bringing the oil you back. And they probably even took the liberty of hiring some junk alcoholic skipper who likes to drink martinis and play slalom with the icebergs. So now my buddy's out of a job. He can't afford the job, so he's walking to the job interviews, which sucks because the strap nail in his ass is giving him chronic hemorrhoids. Meanwhile, he's starving, because every time he tries to get a bite to eat, the only blue plate special they're serving is North Atlantic State with Quaker, with Quaker State. So what do I think? I figure I hold out for something better. While I'm at it, why not just take a job, give it to a sworn enemy, hike up gas prices, bomb a village, club a baby sale, and hit the hash pipe. I could be elected president. Same. Wow. Damn Reagan. <laughs> yeah, yo, 
Wow, How man. do y'all memorize all this? Like, what's the, <laughs> like, what is the, what is the method of memorization? Just oh, repetition. Um, yeah, and writing it down, writing down your lines, and just going over it. Yeah, just keep going over it. Wow, that's when I played Sway in all these movies. <laughs> <I did. laughs> okay, that's just why same way I did it. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah, so yeah. we share. We have that in common. Oh, uh, <laughs> nice, nice. Right, right. right. Uh, uh, Jamie, you're doing amazing work, man. Promise yeah. me. Um, you utilize our platform as a resource, you know, mm-hmm. to, to get the message out uh, and talk about the work that you're doing with the youth. Um, I think this is so important, especially at a time when we look at a news cycle and the only thing we ever see about our youth is negativity or derogatory. And, exactly. And you, and you see you got, we got all these gifted people in our communities that just need outlets, and you're providing Thanks. one, man. So you're, you're anointed, man. You're Thank having you, a sink, brother. Thank you. Have a sink, man. Thank you. Absolutely, man. And then as far as yourself, where, where can people find you if they want to reach you directly? Well, they can find me on um, at Jamie Hector. Mm-hmm. They could also find me on Amazon. <laughs> I'm, I got a new show now on Amazon Prime called Bosch. And I'm on the other side of the law where I was a murderer on on the wire. And now I'm actually a homicide LAPD detective. LAPD detective. Yeah, right? with myself and Titus Welliver. Okay. So that um, the pilot is on there and it premieres in February. Okay. Well, good luck to you, man. Come back Thank and see bro. us, bro. Appreciate that. Oh, we'll see you at the club. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.